Hello Germany. I'm Kathleen Robinson of Karma Queens and Five Tarot and welcome to my tarot podcast for February 2024. And this month we're only going to focus on love in its many combinations for you as Valentine's Day is all about that. Love isn't it? And if you'd like to have a tarot reading with me then head over to my website fivetarot.co.uk and decide what type of reading you would like or contact me directly via email at karmaqueens at gmail.com. So getting back to you, Gemini, you've been brought the Two of Swords upright this month. And if you're asking about what is the outcome of a relationship, that means that an emotional detachment may be the issue in this relationship. It is astrologically associated with the Moon in Libra, which is an interesting energy that balances deep emotions with the detachment required to be impartial. Somebody in this relationship has had a hard time being vulnerable. An inability to be vulnerable with somebody you've just met is perfectly normal. But if you've been together for years, you should be able to open up to each other. The lack of vulnerability might lead to bottled emotions and then resentments and then explosive anger. Addressing the lack of openness may not seem urgent, but if not addressed, you might just end up with a tower moment or no movement at all. The Two of Swords, as love, is a sign of feelings of uncertainty as well as indecisiveness. You or your person could feel detached, not because you don't love your person, perhaps one of you has a fear of missing out. For example, if you're in your younger years, you may get cold feet about settling down. As a result, the relationship stalls and doesn't move at the pace the other person would like. Communication is very important in situations like this. While feeling unsure about commitment is perfectly normal, making the other partner feel taken for granted or unloved is not really okay, is it? And if you're wondering about a potential relationship, it means weighing the pros and cons when it comes to this relationship. Somebody may be approaching this relationship with an overly head over heart angle. Another way this card's energy may manifest in a disconnect between what your heart wants and what your head thinks you need in a partner. Be mindful that what we think is our ideal partner may be based on an unrealistic standard. Are you or your person comparing yourselves to couples on social media? Is the image based on an unhealthy relationship that you witnessed in childhood? If you are in a new relationship, it means stalemate. This does not mean that the relationship doesn't have any potential at all. However, there may be something preventing this relationship from reaching its full potential. Outside interferences such as family and friends could be in your ears influencing your decision making. Remember that you and your person are the ones that will have to live and breathe this relationship. It's not for the external parties to decide for you what you should do. So do listen to your heart. If you're in an existing relationship, the Two of Swords means avoiding issues that may need to be solved. A touchy subject could be a sore point in your relationship, but neither of you are willing to address it. Is this the energy of burying your head in the sand? No matter what the matter is, it's simply unhealthy. Don't let the little things pile up and turn into a big deal of resentment. Alternatively, one of you may be frustrated at the lack of certainty of the relationship's future and may feel like they're being strung along. If you're currently in separation with each other, it means the lack of movement in your relationship. If you're separated by distance, neither of you can decide what your next move should be. You may be aware that for a long distance relationship to work, one of you will need to relocate but neither of you want to initiate that discussion. The sword suit is all about communication and the advice to have the big talk. 
And if you're inquiring about an ex who you're interested in reconciling with, they are indecisive. An open discussion and being clear with your intentions and expectations might help give your relationship some direction in the future with them. So that's all from me, Kathleen Robinson. Until the next time, take care.